Hello, psychology graduates. It's Dr. Marshall, the department chair. Wow, what a year that was, wasn't it? That you've made it. And I'm extremely proud of each and every one of you. You've persevered. The years that you've worked to get your education have been part of the process where you've built your character. You have shown your strength, your ability to adapt, and the type of individual that you truly are. For many of you, I've taught one or more of your classes. Others, I've advised. Others, I've helped you get into classes that were closed. For others, all that I've really contributed to your education has been I've signed the document that states you have fulfilled the requirements for a baccalaureate degree in psychology. But whatever part that I've played, be it large and influential or a very small part, I am extremely proud to have known you and been a part of your education. I truly hope that in the future, you will let us know what you're doing. And I know that you will go on and do great things. If there's anything that I can do to help you in the future, please let me know. Go Captains! Hey guys, Cartwright here. I'm coming to you from my home office. And I just wanna tell you congratulations on your graduation. You finished. This has been a really challenging semester. And you finish the semester doing something for the community. Socially distancing, keeping each other safe, keeping your family safe, and keeping the rest of our wider community safe. So you finished being captains, doing for others while you persevered in this challenging circumstance. I appreciate your help as we learned how to transition to online learning and I'm just so proud of the people you are and the challenges that you've overcome. And I can't wait to see you walk across that stage in October. See you soon. Bye. Hi, seniors. We just wanted to say congratulations on your huge accomplishment. It, this obviously is not how we all pictured us celebrating your graduation. But even still, it's something that you should all be very proud of and make sure you uh, celebrate in the appropriate ways. Um, whether it's grad school, jo a job, or still the unknown, just know we're all very proud of you and we wish you nothing but the best of luck and we can't wait to see you walk across the stage in October and I hope you know that uh, we'll all be here as a resource for you uh, whenever you need it in the future. So good luck, congratulations again, and best wishes uh, for the future. Well, hey everybody, here I am sitting probably very close to where I would have been sitting on your graduation. Um, and I wanna make sure you hear a couple of things. First off, from all of your psychology professors, each one of you who is graduating this year earned every single part of a psychology degree, just like anybody else from any year. We tried to make it easier for you to do it at a distance, but we also made sure you did it all. You had to take Psych 300, maybe with me. You had to take Psych 301, maybe with Gibbons. You had to do your senior seminars. You had to do your senior labs. You earned the education and you earned the celebration, but you can't have it this year. We're all really disappointed. We all miss you. We're all sad, but we really, really hope that we get to see you when we all get together in October. But if we don't, I hope it is for the best possible reasons that you started a job that you love, that you're in a graduate program that is taking you to the next step, and best of luck. Come to the edge, she said. We're afraid, they said. Come to the edge, she said. So they came, they came to the edge, and she pushed them, she pushed them over the edge, and they flew. It's one of my favorite poems by Guillaume Apollinaire, and I think it's so fitting for what's going on this semester. We were, in a sense, led to a precipice, and whether we wanted to or not, we too were pushed over that edge. And we also took flight. We were successful. I'm Dr. Dow, 
psychology department at Christopher Newport University, and I want to say congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. We are so very, very proud of you. Go Captains! Hello lovelies, Dr. Stone here. I just wanted to say congratulations 2020! No seriously, congratulations to you. This has been such a strange and stressful time, and despite a global pandemic, you graduated. That is a ridiculous accomplishment that no class before you can claim. So, I am so bummed we aren't celebrating in person. I cannot wait to watch you strut your stuff and celebrate you on the Great Lawn. Till then, um, stay healthy, stay safe, social distance, take care of one another, and, but most importantly, cheers to you. Hello, class of 2020. I'm going to take advantage of this beautiful day to wish you all the best and to congratulate you on your many, many achievements during your time here at Christopher Newport University. I am blessed to know many of you and I'm lucky to have you in my classes, in my research lab, or to just pass you in the hallways. I'm looking forward to seeing where life takes you and I hope that this new chapter in your life is as wonderful as you expect it to be. When I think about what wise words of wisdom I would like to impart to you on the occasion of your graduation, what comes to mind for me is this. Times like these show a person's true colors for good or bad. And something I have seen the need for amplified during these remarkable times at the end of your college career, but which I have also always found emphasized in my time at CNU, and I hope has been the same for you, is the value of accountability. Meaning, wherever you're in a position to, don't pass the buck. Let the buck stop with you. If somebody needs an answer to something or needs help in some kind of way and you're in a position to be able to provide it, do it. If you make a mistake, own it. I hope that CNU has instilled this value in you at the time that you have been here. And I hope that now that is a part of your true colors that you will take with you into the next chapters of your life. Finally, I just want to say congratulations. I toast to you and your accomplishment. Cheers. Hello from Dr. Rollins. I wanted to start by saying how much we have missed interacting with you all in the classroom, working with you in the laboratory, and seeing you on the great lawn. We are so proud of you, and no one knows how hard you have worked more than the psychology faculty that have challenged you. We are so proud and cannot wait to learn about what the future has in store for you. Good luck, Captains. Congratulations, seniors. I'm Dr. Nicole Guajardo. I'm the Dean of the College of Natural and Behavioral Sciences. I'm so thankful for this opportunity to tell you congratulations. We don't get to celebrate together over the next couple weeks as we would have liked, um, but definitely know that we are so happy that you chose CNU as your school. We hope you come back often. We look forward to the time that we will get to see you again. Um, maybe that's October. Please come back for graduation if you can. Be thinking about you a lot over these few weeks and certainly wish you well in your next endeavors. We know you're going to do great. Hello, class of 2020. This is Dr. Hart coming to you uh, from the Hart Pub. Congrats. Well, the pandemic took away your commencement ceremony in May, but you want to know what it did not and cannot take away? your world-class education, the memories made at CNU with your classmates, your friends, and your professors, your experiences both inside and outside of the classroom. We may be in for rough seas ahead, but you are captains. Captains are not below deck sipping rum, letting others navigate. No, sir. Captains grab the wheel and steer the ship to safety. Captains are leaders. Now go out there and set the world on fire, but not literally. All right, to your accomplishments and to your health, Slancha. Well done, Captains.
Hello, class of 2020. We hope that your years at CNU have provided you with much meaningful experience, including this very tough experience you had this semester. And it's always sad to see you go, but we're delighted to hear about your future career. Congratulations, class of 2020. Um, we hope that we can see you in October for a proper commencement. Take care. With apologies to the PBS NewsHour, this is Dr. Catanzaro with my brief but heartfelt take on the class of 2020. You've perhaps heard the quote that dancer Ginger Rogers did everything her partner Fred Astaire did but backwards in high heels. Similarly, the class of 2020 has had more challenges than other graduating classes due to this global pandemic, but you've persevered. You've probably done this wearing more comfortable footwear than Ginger, uh, or even Fred for that matter, but that's beside the point. One of the benefits of a liberal arts education is, of course, understanding metaphor. Your degree in psychology and experience as a captain, we are confident, have given you a lens to successfully navigate the uncharted waters ahead as we cope with this global pandemic. The path without obstacles probably doesn't lead anywhere. We have faith in you. Best of luck, and we look forward to you are leading a life of meaning and significance, however you choose to define it. Hello, class of 2020. This is Dr. Greenlee. Just wanted to say congratulations and wish you the best in the future. This is Dr. Doolittle. I want to congratulate you on a job well done. We're very happy to have you as representatives of our department. In the history of psych, I always ask the classes, if we were to go through something like World War I or World War II, would your generation have the resilience to rebound from it and still do wonderful things? And now I have my answer. Yes, you will. You are strong and you are resilient and we're very proud of you. Hey, Class of 2020, it's Dr. A here. First of all, congratulations. You've made it to the end of your time at CNU. We know you've worked really hard to get here and we're so proud of everything that you've accomplished. But this is also just the beginning of the next chapter in your lives and I have no doubt that there are more good things ahead for each of you. So most of all, we're really excited for you as you move forward from CNU and we can't wait to hear about all the great things that you do next. Hello grads, I just wanted to take a moment to tell you how proud I am of everything that you've accomplished. This semester's presented you with some unique challenges and you managed to overcome them and I think you should all be very proud of yourselves. Congratulations, good luck with all your future endeavors, go captains. Hello class of 2020, congratulations on a wonderful achievement. Lucky and I want to say, go out there and make us proud, captains. Congratulations again. Bye-bye. All right, congratulations, graduates of 2020. Uh, that, what a fantastic year to be able to graduate in. Man, I was at, I had 98, 1990, and 1984. I just don't, I just think 2020 or 2000 or 2030 or 2050 would be awesome here. So congratulations. What a great year to graduate in. And what a job you guys did in pushing on through, through all the difficult times and uh, with the coronavirus and moving out and coming back and getting your things. Uh, just, just amazing to be able to do all that and get all the work done too and, uh, and adapt to that. So fantastic job to all of you guys and uh, congratulations. I was thinking that you guys would be the first class that would ever graduate twice, but really MAT students do that all the time, but you guys really will be the first class to graduate in October. <laughs> so you guys get to graduate now and in October. And I don't think anybody's ever done that. And I hope no one ever does it. And you guys have that distinction. So, um, you know, thanks for doing a good job graduating. Your job now is to go out and get jobs and uh, go to graduate school and keep making seeing you look good. So uh, please do that and uh, uh, keep in touch. Let us know what you guys are doing because we do want to know. and. And it also helps us know, you know, if what we need to do to uh, improve in the future and uh, what we've done well. And what we've done well is you guys. And you guys uh, helped us do that. So thank you very much and congratulations and uh, have a good rest of the year. Congratulations to the class of 2020 from Dr. Belke.